Okay, I'll okay. see you later at the, uh, the after party. There's an after party? <laughs> Never mind. The 68th annual Primetime Emmys honored the best in television tonight, and as always, the show brought us yet another round of unforgettable moments. Today's Clever News Feed is brought to you by Hulu, where you can stream original series, current season episodes the day after they air, hit movies, and more. Aside from the big wins, every award show has its standout moments, so in case you missed anything, we've got you covered. Acceptance speeches never fail to be inspiring, entertaining, and sometimes blatantly honest. And that's exactly what happened when Alan Yang and Aziz Ansari took the stage to accept their award for outstanding writing for a comedy series for Master of None. Check it out. There's 17 million Asian Americans in this country, and there's 17 million Italian Americans. They have The Godfather, Goodfellas, Rocky, The Sopranos. We got Long Duck Dog, so we got a long way to go. Asian parents out there, if you could just do me a favor, if just a couple of you get your kids' cameras instead of violins, we'll be all good. Aziz was cut off before he was able to jump in there to give his thanks, but luckily got his moment later when presenting an award and took a moment to thank his parents. Kate McKinnon kept the house laugh going when she took the stage to accept the award for Best Supporting Actress in Comedy for her hilarious presence in Saturday Night Live. Take a look. Thank you to the Academy so much. Uh, good sentence. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ellen DeGeneres. Thank you, Hillary Clinton. Um, <laughs> And to make matters even more epic, Hillary Clinton actually tweeted Kate after seeing the speech to thank her back. But jokes aside, Kate went on to also thank her father, who has since passed away unfortunately, but was the one to first introduce her to SNL when she was just 12 years old. Another great moment was when Jeffrey Tambor took the stage to accept his Emmy for lead actor in a comedy series for his work in Transparent and made a statement that will hopefully securely resonate with the Academy. To you people out there, you producers and you uh, network owners and you agents and you creative sparks, please give trans transgender talent a chance. Give them audition. Jill Soloway, the creator of Transparent, made a similar statement in her acceptance speech and also took a stand by saying down with the patriarchy controlling Hollywood and pointed out similarities in Trump's candidacy to the rise of Hitler. But on a lighter note, who couldn't love the moment when the kids from Stranger Things rode out into the audience on bikes dressed as their characters to pass out PB&Js that Jimmy Kimmel's mom made? There they are. They're going to be distributing them. Jimmy joked that if anyone was allergic to peanuts, then they could kiss life goodbye because they could only afford one EpiPen for the night. And since Jimmy's mom made the PB&Js, you know moms always personalize notes on napkins, and Amy Schumer in particular got a napkin note in her bag that wasn't what she was expecting. Take a look. Dear Amy, you're the funniest woman on television. I wish you were hosting the Emmys this year. <laughs> I'm your number one fan. Bring back parks and Wreck. <laughs> Mama Kimmel had the wrong Amy, but it's a thought that counts, right? And keeping the laughs going was Leslie Jones when she called out the guys to protect the Emmy results envelopes, saying that seriously, no one is trying to steal those envelopes, but she could really use some help securing something else. Since you good at keeping things safe, I got a job for you. My Twitter account. <laughs> Put that in the vault, please. Leslie cracks me up. She, of course, was making light of the fact that nude pictures of her were leaked after her account was hacked. Amy Poehler and Tina Fey also had the audience cracking up when they came on stage to joke about their shared Emmy Award win. A week ago, we became the first women to share an Emmy for guest actress in a comedy series. Yes, I think it goes, goes like this. Goes like this. There are so many people to half thank for this award. Um, I'd like to thank the top half of my agent. Uh, of course, we want to thank half of the cast and crew and writers of SNL. And we are halfway there, people, so keep watching. Can we talk about how much love everyone was giving their wives tonight? And contrary to popular belief, I got the hottest chick in the game rocking my chain. Ryan Michelle Bathe, you make this whole thing go. I love you. Last but not least, to the woman that rocks my chain. This one is for you, girl! 
the chain wearing became an ongoing joke that didn't stop there. I need to really say, and the one person I am going to thank uh, is my wife. For the best reason of all, not only does she rock whatever that was, but... Uh... <laughs> Okay, everyone do me a favor right now and tweet at Machine Gun Kelly saying at Drew underscore underscore Dorsey wants to wear your chain. Don't ask questions, just do it and I'll explain later. Another great moment was when Jimmy Kimmel gave Maggie Smith so much grief for never showing up to the Emmys to accept her award even though she wins every single year. And guess what happened again this year? She won and Jimmy freaked out. Maggie couldn't be here tonight, so accepting the award on. No, 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 no. Uh, um, we're not mailing this to her. <laughs> Maggie, if you want this, it will be in the lost and found. Jimmy was definitely a little bitter, but not as bitter as he was when he lost to John Oliver. And Matt Damon came out to rub it in a little deeper. I missed the last category. Did you win? So you're not, you're not going to get a trophy. No, I don't get a trophy then. Huh? Are you finished? Is you who, done? Wait, who did get a trophy? Who won? John Oliver. He was just out yes. here. What do you mean, who yes. won? He went on to rub it in even further by reminding Jimmy that he now has to stand out on stage all night and finish the show when he probably just wants to go home and cry. Savage, Matt Damon, you're a savage. And last but certainly not least, we have to talk about the absolutely beautiful performance Tori Kelly gave for the In Memoriam section of the show, where she sang hallelujah and left not a single dry eye in the house. It's the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah. That girl has some serious pipes. Well done to Tori and a huge congrats to all the winners. Good show, right? I want to hear which moments were your favorite, so let me know in the comment section below. And then click right over here to see what your favorite stars rocked on the red carpet. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching Clever News. I'm your host, Drew Dorsey, and I'll see you next time. Click to the left to check out some couples yoga on Beauty Trippin' or click to the right to unbox some Kylie Kai shadows on Beauty Break. We'd like to thank Hulu for sponsoring this episode of News Feed. Stream your favorite TV shows, hit movies, and more. Hulu, come TV with us.